talons <laughs> and then shoots you. <laughs> oh. It's sick. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... Anyway. Dragonite, Austin... Winner's quarters. Mm -hmm. So Make, Makes sense for the bracket, IMO. Austin has an extensive matchup history up against Bayonetta. Oh, Jesus. There literally is, like, a saga of Austin and Lima and Grands every single week. And that, like, that saga is, like, less so, but still kind of, like, is a thing. They still mm -hmm. meet up in Grands, like, pretty frequently, I'd say. Whenever they both show up at the yeah. tournament, sometimes they just both yeah. aren't there. And I think that's the anomaly when they don't yeah. have Austin and Lima Grands. Lima will always be in Grands. Sometimes Austin will get, like, a random fifth or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, but it still definitely happens. And also Dragonite with the Lima Sama tag. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> he wants Lima to be watching. Lima's not here tonight. Um, so. You know why? Was it like some sort of tournament he was traveling for? Not a for? clue. Or, Not a yeah. clue. I didn't. Like, Sometimes he just doesn't show up. I was gonna say like I have no idea if he wants to show up for his weekly paycheck or what. Yeah. I don't know. He might lose his wallet again. Ah. There's the big risk of I get my paycheck or I lose the past three ones because I d he actually doesn't have a wallet. That's the struggle. He, dude, there's literally like a Walmart next door. Yeah. Take like twenty dollars to go get a wallet or just like buy one on Amazon. Literally, you have like tons of different ways to get one without ha like asking your parents. And even then, yeah. you could just also ask your parents. If you're like a teenager in high school, having a wallet's a very basic thing. That was not the best DI from Dragonite. That was full screen and he died. He definitely like, dropped his wallet in the parking lot on that back throw. Yeah. DI down. Yeah. Basic, basic which time. Although he does grab the ledge, so he's safe. Whoop. So normally the smart Bayo thing to do there is to grab ledge after him and force like him to buffer an option because you can still do like the ledge trump state off mm -hmm. of which time stuff. Yep. But uh, Dragonite just waited on stage to try to cover something just without forcing attack. it. Yeah. And that's why Austin stayed there is because he knew that Drago was going to be waiting. But Point he didn't force him. Won't kill you. He went for the down throw because that's a DI mix-up. If they uh, DI in... Yeah, I was going to say, if they DI up and into the forward throw, down throw might kill. Um, it it can like, go... He, he, he can true combo down throw up air. Okay. If they DI he, in. He was, he was like 140, though, so it's, yeah. it's not, not going to work. Might have been like a niche 50-50. Yeah. Back throw to push him off. At this point, if he gets grabbed at the ledge, it's yeah, no, game it, over. For, forward throw will murder you right now. Mm. Waits for the air dodge. Yeah. Uh, down tilt still ended up getting it, although if he just grabs, he yeah. wouldn't even have to go for that 50-50. Does he have the Lima Punish game? He Ooh. could make the... Uh, no. Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> that, and that's not yeah. even a slight on Dragonite completely, because Lima's Punish game is freaking ridiculous. Yeah, uh, but also, Austin has to practice against it so much that there's no way he's getting caught by anyone who's not a wizard. <laughs> like Lima definitely is a wizard. Yeah. I can see him wearing the hat. He definitely, like, low-key... For, for as much as like a cocky player Lima is, I could definitely see him being like a little goofball on the inside. Yep. And, oh, we didn't, he had like a guaranteed up there there. I wonder if it was just missed input or... He might have like... Which time. Yeah, that's definitely like a, I gotta wait for this witch time or yeah. I could lose this yeah, set. Yeah, that literally like, yep. There's, there's, you might as well reset because you could just back there and kill anyways. And uh, if you risk lit up there, that could have been the yeah. game. It's like a yeah. moment of hesitation where you're like, shoot, I missed my window. Now I have to wait the whole way because if I yeah. go in on the switch time, I'm dying. I, yeah, I haven't commentated Smash 4 in a while. So it, like, I like forgot which time was moving. <laughs> I was like, ah, oops. Any other character, <laughs> oops. you would have said the correct thing. Yeah, because the thing is, is they, they, they would have, they would have air dodged and then had landing lag and then you just back throw <laughs> after, afterwards. But yeah. oops. I, against Bayo, risk reward is just not the <laughs> same. <laughs> Bazinga, my guy. Yeah. So now we'll see if Dreamland is going to be able to uh, make any differences here. Oh. oh, wow. That was a very big up air and uh, what? <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, he got a hit. I guess? <laughs> that, that is the difference between Lima and Dragonite. Right there. He's got a witch time and then whiffed five Even moves. Even, like, the top fan of players, I, I still feel like Lima might... Lima might actually just have the best punish game out of all of them. He might. Honestly, yeah. his awareness... It's not just, like, that he has good punishes. The awareness of which punish to like, go to. capitalizing. Yeah. I mean, like, it's not like he has, like, the same combo tree. I feel like a lot of it's, like, different. It's like he just happens to know every single, like, micro situation. He, like either reads your SDI or can recognize it faster than, yeah. like, anyone ever. Like, he touched Zenodo twice and he died. It's nuts. Yeah. Right now, if uh, Drago can get Austin off stage, nope. he can't. He didn't. <laughs> no. That didn't happen. That was a false statement. If he can get him off stage, this is easily, like, a time where Austin can die. So that was, like, a kind of close stock right there, but once... Uh, let's see how far Austin can take this. 
Right now, like, Drago's got to get rid of this stock pretty quick or he's going to be uh, in a world of hurt. He definitely doesn't want to trade and get up to, like, 60 or 70 or whatever. Because no. the thing is, is that you have to play, like, pretty much perfectly uh, for the next stock as well because then you're going to get back thrown. Like, right. Like, the, yeah. some characters, like, maybe my opponent has rage don't get hit. With, with Ness, it's either don't get up aired or don't get grabbed. And both, yeah. like, the way to dodge grab is to be in the air. The way to dodge up air is, you know, be on the ground and shielding. Yeah. And both of those things... Lead into the other it's one. It's just a constant, nu like, neutral mix-up over yeah. and over. There's like, there's, like, more to it, but at the end of the day, that's that's literally all you're playing around. Yeah. So. You can pick you, one to avoid. You want to you wanna be able to trade in that situation, because the thing is, is if you pick incorrectly on the up air, it's good to, like, have a low enough percent to where you're trading and not just dying. Mm -hmm. So you want to clean out the first stock. Yeah, right now, Drago is sitting... Oh, my God, he could be dead. Nah, he's not going to kill him. See, if he was able to push him off a little bit, like a couple back airs, and then maybe go for a down air... Maybe he could have got something going. At the very least, go for an edge guard afterwards because you would have to go for a lower recovery. Um, but Drago went for the uh, the carry off the top. Ooh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, I thought he was gonna do. No, I thought he was gonna do the down. He could have yeah, done I down was gonna smash. Say, he he could have dunked him. If that was Lima. Yeah, I was gonna say like that felt like a very obvious down smash in yeah. my book. But I'm not a band that a man. Oh, that was so close. I thought he was gonna clip the, the clip of the thunder. Yeah. The head. Mm -hmm. So Drago has dropped. Two kills right now. Uh -huh. Two kills on Austin that would take him into game three, where if he loses, he's going to loser's bracket. That is huge. And he's getting a little antsy. He went for the immediate really upper. Yeah, I put some barely. <laughs> oh. Going for that stall instead of going for the immediate other witch twist. I mean, I mean this is a classic bayonet move. I don't like yeah. it. It's like bread and butter. Like, hey, I, I'm going to use the recovery move. Ah, oh, whoops. You just have to be aware that, like, Bayo's recovery is great, but it's not always unpunishable. When you do the wall bounce, you're stuck also, in some, Witch like, Also, Witch Twist definitely lag. just has significantly bigger hitboxes, yeah. so, like, I feel like it, Witch Twist was the correct idea. Witch like, Twist forces option, the opponent yeah. to shield, at least, if they're sitting that close to the ledge. Yeah. Whereas Witch Twist so big. Wall bouncing off with the with the dive kick means Austin gets a free down smash. Yeah, the, the dive kick is, like, a good reset, but the problem is that if people are already at the ledge, you always want a Witch Twist, because mm. uh, I've seen Witch Twist flat-out beat Diddy Kong forward air. Yeah.